aerospace scientist with us aerospace scientist uh, very very renowned always a pleasure to speak with him namaste nambi narayan ji jai hind and thank you for speaking with us we are on the eve of a historical journey into space for bharat your thoughts do you think this time we'll get it right especially the landing yeah i i hope that it will be a grand success Uh, because you know we have now mo- modified certain things which yeah. we learned from the failures of chandrayaan 2 mm. and uh, so i hope it will be a successful one how critical namin narayan ji is it uh, do you think it is for india to establish its credentials as far as space tech is concerned do you think uh, we will be able to you know absorb any setback if things but chance don't go right i i personally believe this is my personal opinion mm. i personally believe we have no pressure uh this is actually even today if I, if i really look at it i am only happy that the entire nation is with us yes in uh, anticipation of a successful launch mm. so that way i am happy but uh, otherwise Uh, as far as today's launch is concerned mm. it is a normal gslv launch yes but if at all if there is an anxiety that should come uh, during the soft landing which will take place august 23rd or 24th mm. uh, so that time probably we could be under tension but we will not be <laughs> under any pressure Where do you see India today in the space race? How competitive are we compared to some of the other nations? There are, uh, you know, entities like NASA now who we are entering into a strategic partnership with them. How significant is that? No, actually, we are not to be compared with anyone. Hmm. For various reasons, right? Uh, for example, today uh, I can say that uh, we are the fourth nation. namely the after the china russia and usa usa once we become successful in this mission we will be the fourth nation mm. but it doesn't uh, you see the whole thing is how far you are on your own mm. that is what matters as far as we are concerned that is what is going to bring you the glory as well as uh, investment opportunities mm. it is good to have collaboration for example they are talking about uh, a collaborative launch with uh, japan, japan next time yes and maybe we may have a collaborative uh, launch with uh, nasa nasa yes artemis uh, but i feel that everything we learn and on our own what we do it matters what what is on our own matters a lot hmm. but do, do you think there's uh, far more re- effort and focus towards research design development vis-a-vis space space technology and space foray is concerned in the recent years under prime minister modi i think so uh, you, you see if you are meaning the uh, private participation yes uh, we have uh, suddenly created an interest in the minds of the industry industries Mm. but i think this needs a little more uh, focusing when i talk to some of the industries ji see for example they are talking about uh, producing a pslv or uh, you know that kind of a, or vikas engine mm. but i personally expect them to do something on their own some uh, uh, you know what you idea For example, somebody can come back and then say that here is a two-stage vehicle or a three-stage vehicle which will carry so much of payload. Or supposing if somebody can come out and then say that uh, we are uh, interested in developing uh, LOX methane engine, hmm. something like that. Hmm. That makes sense because you know you have the facilities available. Right. And if somebody can uh, take care of it, ISRO is willing to help them. Right. So. that needs a little bit awareness as well as some kind of a focusing mm. i i hope that that is being done i'm not aware of it but mm. that is required
But Nambi Narayanan ji, the future of space or space tech or foray into the realm of space, if you're even looking at interplanetary uh, and and beyond, the this realm has to be where we can produce rockets, engines, spaceships that can last a lifetime uh, or they can generate their own power. So we have to look at a nuclear source or something which uh, can put, propel itself on its own. Are we anywhere close to that kind of technology? I don't think that we are anywhere nearer to the goal you are talking about. What we are right now doing is our, our self-reliance on um, satellites which are weighing approximately four, four tons. Mm. We are able to reach to geosynchronous orbit. That is our uh, GSLV. And we are talking about various projects including the Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan and then mm. Aditya, etc, etc. But you see, all these things uh, needs money. Yeah. Not, uh, it's not, it doesn't come free. Mm. Uh, even today there are a sect of people who, who believe that uh, space is a white elephant, mm. etc. But I am not getting into that controversy. But as far as I am concerned, yes, we need to plan. But I am of the opinion that it is not ISRO alone can do this job. I am talking about internationally, if you really look at it, even America couldn't do it on its own. Mm. So it needs some kind of understanding. For example, I used to tell in very many forums that uh, NASA for America yeah. and ESA for Europeans and we should have an ESA, uh, ESA for India, ESA for, for the Asian countries. Asian so eventually, it will be the collaboration of ESA, NASA and ESA. They will do the advanced technologies relating to space and interplanetary travel and uh, you know that kind of a thing. This is only a sketchy idea but, but one thing is very clear that no one nation can afford to do this job alone financially. It will be and uh, it will be difficult. Also, we depend on each other. Correct. See, for example, tracking, navigation, and then communication. So many things. So we need. Mm. So the, 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 this will become a compulsory thing, which I hope will come through. Mm. But w what is the one significant aspect, one big box that you think we will, as a nation, tick, or for you personally also, will be ticked? If this mission is a success, if Chandrayaan-3 is a success? No, it's a simple, simple question. It proves your ability to, to reach moon in a specified manner, mm. in a specified style. Mm. And uh, your technical superiority is being established. Mm. So, the outcome of that would mean other countries who are sitting like a cat on the wall will jump in our <laughs> side <laughs> to invest money on future missions. Fair point. Of course, there you have to define. Unless you have some returns, mm. no industry will be interested in joining you or for that matter spending money or investing money in the uh, space related matters. Correct. But I hope the success of this mission as I told you in the beginning, it's a game changer. It will bring in people closer to you in terms of investment, higher job opportunities, and uh, more projects, etc. For, for a mission director, sir, what is the most nerve-wracking moment? The takeoff, the journey, or the landing? Which is most harrowing? Well, as you know very well, this is a beaten track. We have gone through that mill and uh, the only place we Fair failed point, yeah. was the soft launch. Soft land, landing. Correct. So his tension must be there during the soft landing only. But in space, <laughs> everything is uh, uh, sort of uh, anxiety. It will be there, at least for those who are associated with that. Mm. Right from takeoff till you land, it will be there. But I feel more tensionful event will be the soft landing. Hmm. Soft landing is sometime around the 23rd of August, Nambi Narayananji, that's also my birthday. Perfect birthday gift for me and for the country if we get the soft landing right. That, that will be great. So, 
I, I, I just want to wish you that, uh, wish you all the time, uh, many happy returns of the day. <laughs> you do it on that day, sir, when we have a, uh, when we have the perfect landing. On that day, we should connect again and we'll speak again, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Namaste, sir. Thank you.